Okay, in this screencast, I'd like to set up a new email address for my domain, grownlocally.com, and I am using Google Apps. That's already been set up, so if you don't have Google Apps set up, you're going to need to do that first. But once you have it set up, and you may have an account or two already, how do you add a new uh, email account? We're going to add this sales at grownlocally.com, um, and to do that, you need to log in with an administrator account. So uh, that's going to be the first email account you set up when you set up Google Apps or any other account that's an administrator. I'm just going to go to uh, gmail.com where I can log in with my administrator account. I'm going to sign in and I'll know right away because I see this link, manage this domain, that means I'm an administrator. If you don't see that, you're going to need to find an account that is an administrator. When I click that, I'll see here that I have two users already. So I'm going to um, add a third user is basically what I'm doing by adding a new email address. I'm going to click the users. And now I'm going to create my new user. I'm going to call it Grown Locally Sales. Use the sales at grownlocally.com email address. I'm actually going to set a password so that I can remember it when I log in in just a second. So use grown locally as the password and create a new user. Okay, that's been set up. So actually, we act we have our email account set up now. We just need a way for someone to check it. So that will be in the next part here. But um, there it is. Sales at grownlocally.com can now be checked by just going to gmail.com. There, I think I got that one. there you are, that's going to be your Gmail account once it loads here. In the next uh, screencast, we're going to set up um, this email address to automatically forward to another email address so that you only have to check your regular email. You don't have to log in into two places to check your, your new account.